you are going to be surprised that one of the other virons doesn't have an effect to mate boost. Hey guys, welcome back to Diesel Place Arc. Thank you all so much for tuning in to me. And today, Professor Diesel is in the house. <laughs> and today's episode is going to be really special, guys. Trust me on this. The results are going to blow you off your seats. There is so much to this three virons down here. And each of them are so different. And we are only talking about their primary and special attack, guys. I didn't even expect myself to actually do this episode. I was actually going to do the best uh, aerial dino DPS countdown. But what I found out about this three dinos special attack, it's honestly going to blow you guys off your seats. It's not been covered before and it's going to be covered right here in Diesel Place Arc, guys. So... Without further ado, let's go. So let's start up with the most interesting yet complicated one, the Fire Viren. The Fire Viren does 9 times its initial damage and 2 times its afterburn damage in the first second. After that, it does 7 times its afterburn damage. Let's take a look at this in slow motion. So once we've understood that, let's move on to the initial damage. The initial damage wise land dinos take less, the air dinos tend to take more. Once we've understood the initial damage, it's time to move on to the afterburn. This is where things get complicated guys. We can actually segregate them into two different groups. Group 1 will be the smaller dinos and flyers and group 2 will be the bigger dinos. The mechanics for these two groups are slightly different. The amount of afterburn damage taken by the dinos depend on their health, not the level. So we have a level 4 and a level 8 Karno down here with the same health, and both of them took 37 afterburn damage each. So here is another example to prove it. We have a level 112 and a level 100 Parasol with the same health at 640, and both of them took the exact same amount of afterburn. Previously, we saw a 420 health Karno receiving a 37 afterburn effect. Now, we can see that a 504 health Karno receiving a 45 afterburn effect, which actually proves the point, the more the health, the more the afterburn effect received. It's the same for the flyer guys, and Arjun Tevis with 365 health took 78 initial damage and 32 afterburn damage. However, an Argent with 1168 health took the same initial damage at 78 but more afterburn damage at 75. Now let's move on to the bigger dinos. The mechanics for the bigger dinos it's very different guys. The level nor the health of the dino matters. The only thing that actually matters is the type of dino. So, for example, a Parasa with 3192 health receives an afterburn of 30. Another Parasa with 4560 health receives the same amount of afterburn effect. Fun fact time guys, so among the large dinos, the Parasa, Woolly Rhino and Mammoth had the most amount of fire resistance, followed by the Bronto. The T-Rex and the Giga didn't do that well guys, they seem to get the most amount of afterburn effect. Another interesting thing about the Fire Viren is that its attack deals less damage to dinos that are mate boosted. So we have a non-mate boosted Karno here at 840 health, it takes 47 initial damage and 75 afterburn damage. Now let's take a look at an 840 health mate boosted Karno. It's taking 31 initial damage and 50 afterburn damage. And this is applicable to both small and big dinos. Don't jump into conclusion yet guys, you are going to be surprised that 
one of the other virons doesn't have an effect to mate boost. Alright guys, so let's move on to the less complicated guy, the Lightning Viren. Lightning Viren is pretty simple guys. It does the same amount of damage to large dinos, small dinos and even flyers. Let's take a look at some of them right now. And does mate boost affect the damage of the lightning viren? It sure does, guys. Now let's move on to the last and final viren. The poison viren is a little unique. It has an indirect and direct hit capability for its special attack. So for example, this Paras' first hit was indirect, so he got 180 initial damage. As for its second attack, it was a direct hit, so he got 226. It does 13 times its after poison damage over the duration of 6 seconds. Let's bring the music in guys, because it does the same damage similar to that of the Lightning Viren when it comes to different dinos, including Flyers. And finally, the most unique part about the Poison Viren. No guys, it's not that it can destroy armor, everybody knows that. But did you know that made boosted dinos take the same amount of damage from the poison viren? Which means to say, made boost doesn't work against the poison viren. By now, a bunch of you guys would already be asking, Hey Diesel, what is the DPS of the three different virens? Let me be honest with you guys. It is totally impossible to get a good DPS comparison among these three virons simply because of the number of permutations and conditions that has to be met. Even the dummies didn't want to help me out this time guys. But I don't wish to disappoint you guys. So I did the DPS for the primary attack which is the bite. I thought that it's gonna be the same. I was partially right. The attack speed was exactly the same at 1.4. However, the damage output or the DPS for 100% was definitely different. The lightning viren definitely came up tops followed by the fire and the poison. But the difference, it's really not that much guys. All of them varied at 0.1 difference. And if you guys didn't know by now, the virus attack doesn't work against its same kind. Alright guys, so let's summarize this. The fire is pretty complicated and it does different damage to different dinos but it has a good AoE. The lightning has the fastest damage delivered and does the same damage to all dinos. The poison guys, it's pretty hard to get a hit with a poison but it does the same damage to all dinos and it has 2 plus points. Number 1, it gets armor destroyed and number 2, mate boosted dinos take the same amount of damage from the poison virus. So, which one of these three is Diesel's favorite? I would definitely go for the lightning guys because it's just me i like speed and it's pretty simple to use you know you like you just need to get a good linear vision on your opponent and that's it <laughs> all right guys so for those guys who like the video remember to smash the subscribe button leave a like behind and also leave a comment behind this was definitely professor diesel's toughest video to make there was a whole bunch of testing and i actually spent a few hours on it guys by few i actually mean close to 12 to 14 hours <laughs> all right guys till next time take care and goodbye love you all